Welcome to EasyBridge. Let's take a look at how to access MathXL for School resources from within EasyBridge. First, log in to EasyBridge. You will see a list of the courses that you are teaching on the left-hand side of your screen. On the right-hand side, you will see a list of the learning platforms used in your district. The MathXL for School button listed here launches a resource page that provides access to several useful resources. If you are not teaching any classes, but you do have teacher access to EasyBridge, you may still access the MathXL for School resources page. To open the resources page, click the MathXL for School button. The resources page is divided into a few areas. The first area is the district course gallery. The gallery contains a course for each title or course offered in MathXL for School. You can open the drop-down menu to see a list of all courses offered in MathXL for School. If you are a teacher considering which book to use with your class, you can browse the various courses offered in the gallery to get a feel for content and materials in those courses. If you are a resource teacher, you may be working with a student who uses MathXL for School in his or her course. In this case, you may want to enter the equivalent gallery course to view the course material being used in that class or to create assignments for that student. If you are an administrator or math coordinator, you may want to use the gallery to review courses in preparation for future purchasing decisions. Let's choose a title and launch the gallery course. It is important to note that all teachers and administrators in your district have access to these shared gallery courses, but students are never enrolled in gallery courses. As a resource teacher, you may want to create an assignment in the gallery course to share with a classroom teacher, or as a math coordinator, you may want to create an assignment in the gallery to share with all the teachers using that course in your district. When you are finished, you can close the gallery course and look at the rest of the resources page. The next area of the resources page to point out is your tip sheet area. These tip sheets provide simple step-by-step -step instructions to complete common tasks. For example, if you want to share assignments with other teachers as mentioned earlier, there is a tip sheet to explain how to do this. The other links on this page offer information about system requirements, product news, implementation ideas, training opportunities, and how to access help for using the product. 